Okay. All right, I'm going to be playing some uh, Rich Fighter with Dennis. And uh, it's been an exciting night. Uh, T Flash and C Money had another match. And um, that was pretty exciting. I definitely recommend people check out uh, T Flash's uh, stream or the archive of it. It's on YouTube and on Twitch. Uh, tonight is Saturday um, the 26th, but now it's mid past midnight, so we're in 27th on Sunday, a week before 4th of July. Okay, so that didn't work out on Dennis is having technical problems. He's been modifying his arcade stick. Welcome to the world of modified arcade sticks. Um, so there's some challenge there right now. Um, sorry if I'm looking down. I'm just checking on everything and then I'm going to see if there's anyone available to play. So. Oh, okay. Alright, we're going to be playing with Jimmy Claymore. Awesome. Um, excellent. I'm really happy about that. And I'm going to update happy about that. Very, very happy. Sweet, JSM's in there. Cool. I'm blessed. I'm lucky. They're in the middle of a match, I'm sure, right now. I joined the room, they're in the middle of the match, so I won't be able to watch the match until it switches, but that'll probably happen at the end of the set, I think. Um, or between games, hopefully between games. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a Saturday night. In Portland, it's really, really hot. We're, for us, for, for Portland, you know, we're, 
It's only about 96 degrees today, but you know, 105 is where it'll probably be. But for Portland, that's pretty extreme, but probably nothing compared to our southern friends in uh, California all the way to Florida. We're just waiting for the set to finish, then we'll be able to play or watch. Um, yeah. Let's see. That's uh, pretty excited. Uh, I don't think I've played JSM, I just believe they're pretty good. Um, Blood Mask is Jimmy Claymore, very strong. I'm looking forward to fighting him, uh, expecting to get beaten up. but. It's pretty intense, he's very precise, um, and that's a person that can show you how strong you can be even if you're, uh, even if you don't have a scene fully formed around you, so pretty amazing. Um, he just studies the game hard. And uh, I apologize, my eyes keep wandering. Um, I'm uh, receiving an important message and, you know, just uh, making sure, uh, making sure friends are good, friends are okay. And, um, yeah, you know, uh, kind of managing a few chats. That said, thank you very much for watching. The action will start soon. Um, I just got into the room with Jimmy Claymore from Mexico, and he's fighting JSM 9999 right now. Win two battles. Okay. Oh, we're up. Wish me luck. Fighting, uh... Ooh, boy. He's gonna play Leon. This is always fun. I like the Leon mirror. Many Leon players hate it. I do enjoy it, but when I don't know what the other Leon player does, it is tricky. I'm gonna be the one on the right. He's gonna be the one on the left. So, Leon mirror is a lot of fun. Totally fun. Round one. There's a little lag there, but the game slowed itself down slightly, the heavier feel. And that's a good thing because we're still able to react. Nice. Nice. I need to do that one. Smash on start. Oh, 
good ability at. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. It was a lot of fun. Alright, and I get to watch you guys play. Something I've been really enjoying about fighting Jimmy Claymore is um, I've described his game as precise. It's more like he doesn't put too much out there with this. So like he's showing me, okay, he put himself out of the ring there. But um, what what he shows me is basically like how tough it is when you're playing a very careful uh, game. And it's just, there's just not many chicks in the armor. He doesn't make any obvious mistakes. He doesn't crumble under the pressure, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, we're not playing in person, so I can't tell. But when we're playing online, um, his game has just got a very calm feel to it, and it's just like, it's gonna work. <laughs> and, and, and he'll do stuff that makes me wonder, like, is that really guaranteed? Like, you know, and sometimes it is. He'll sidestep the right thing, he'll sidestep a poke that I might do too much of, and then show me that, like, I'm gonna get hit. And, 
you know, in the previous set that we played, he actually did the same. He, he did the neutral throw strategy, and I and I didn't even do anything about it. Like I didn't try to read it at the start. I was very lazy in that, and so I just kind of defaulted to my usual throw escapes, which wasn't going to work. So, um, so again, you know, like, I feel like I have to be focused and attentive when I play him, even though he's playing this very calm game. And, uh, you know, it could be, it makes you feel like an amateur, <laughs> you know, but it's all good because these are the things that you have to improve when you fight strong players. And he's a very strong player, so, um, so I'm really glad to get that. And I'm also glad that even though he's from Mexico and I'm all the way up in Portland, we're getting a good enough connection that we're playing a game that, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but it's like really improving my VF. Um, and so I'm just excited that he's uh, giving me the time, and um, and I think he enjoys fighting too. So, you know. but it, it is you watch what he does. He's he's pretty precise. He knows like he's gonna evade this thing, um, but he doesn't always evade. Like, he's gonna go. defend just enough. Um, so you're watching like JSM try to figure him out. And for some reason, even though the risk rewards aren't skewed, when I fight him I feel like just a tiny mistake that I make is gonna cost me. And it's hard to see the mistakes in his game, though I'm pretty sure, you know, that there are openings. But you feel like the cost of Trying to hit those openings can be tough. However, from the last time we played, I also know that after a while I kind of got comfortable with this way, and then I started to find my way to like what I can be aggressive against. Him. But it, it took a while to figure that out. So let's see if we can figure it out tonight. If not, it's okay. It is like 2:30 in the morning in Mexico right now. So um, I know he's very tired. He's not. Uh, he's not a night owl like me. So. So I gotta respect that, but I'm just glad that he was still able to play when I got home for it. Ready, go! Um... Uh, Jimmy, is it okay to invite Dennis to the room? I think you'd love to fight Dennis. Dennis 0201. Um, I know that we would have to change the room to four players. But would that be cool? Um, okay. Let's see. Can't change number of players, okay. Is it cool if we restart if we started a new room after this? After this set. Full set no. Tonight. Um, right now we've got Jimmy Claymore, which is a uh, blood mask, and we've got JSM9999. Um, 
So cool. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so sorry, JSM. That was really cool, too. That was really cool. Okay. Um, is it cool if we start a new room, four players? I'll even give my spot to Dennis. <laughs> if, if. if you're not feeling that, that's okay. I know you're going to go to bed soon. No response, that's okay. I'll respect it. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, Jimmy. Um, sorry for the weird rotation. I was just waiting for an answer, but I should just, you know, hit okay or something. Um, okay. Round one. Ready, go!
to learn. She's very good at wrecking my Leon, but it's all good. There's a lot to learn on this match. So, Sorensen, uh, Jimmy wants to play out the last, the remaining, his remaining games in this three-man room. But after that, um, I'll open up a room, and you'll be, able, you'll definitely be able to join. Um, and Dennis will be there too, and JSM too. Yeah. 
Oh, it won't. We're talking about when, when Jimmy's done with, it, with the set, because he's going to go to bed soon. So we're talking about after that, so you won't stop the flow. Crash dash into the launch pad is okay. Ah, I love that move. It's a low. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jimmy. Any character you want to use, I'm happy to fight them all. <laughs> it's all good training. Should do combo. Cool stuff. Round four. Okay. Ready, go. James, thank you very much.
round one. Ready? How's everyone doing tonight? You guys doing pretty good? <laughs> you've been playing a lot, man. How's... yeah. Uh, you've been doing awesome, too. <laughs> I think there's two people that come to mind when we think about Non-stop VF almost, right? That's crazy drunk and VF numbers. Round one. Yeah, I think Ready, every time I'm awake, go. VF numbers is on this streaming. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> it's but I think it's awesome. I think his rooms are cool, and he's a really good guy and a really cool lady. Really good lady. So. Round two. Ready. That said, I've never fought uh, Sid Kids. Lefe? I don't think I have, at least in recent years. So, I heard that Lefe is scary as hell. Also, um, if you subscribe to Crazy Drunk 88's YouTube channel um, and set notifications on, you'll be able to see when they go live. Uh, Crazy Drunk's often playing some really strong opponents, so. Um, I always find it's worth uh, checking his stream, especially uh, I like it on YouTube because I can rewind it and see how the sets are going, um, like during the stream, and then when I want to fast forward it back to, uh, or catch up by basically fast forwarding through all the intermissions. And so, uh, YouTube is pretty cool, and uh, you know, Crazy Drunk 88 is on both YouTube and Twitch, so, uh, and they're definitely one of the best players in North America. The most complete shun, arguably the best shun. Gotcha. So you did go to the gathering. How was how was the NorCal gathering? The NorCal session was it pretty good? Um, I saw that uh, Socrates went last week at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good games. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Have a good night and rest well. And, uh, it was just three people this week? Oh, wow. At least it's offline BF. And let me guess, you played Aoi Mirror, didn't you? Did you play the Aoi Mirror? Was it a lot of Aoi versus Aoi? <laughs> I like Genesis Frenzy's uh, Aoi. Round one. I don't see it. Ready, go! Right. Okay. It's called a knowledge check. Ready, go. 
I think JSM is learning how to fight Leon. The hard part about fighting against Leon is he forces you to do the one thing you don't do in VF much of, which is to block low. A lot of times in VF, you don't even have to block low in this game that much. I mean, you do it for ducking, right? Just to duck a high. But a lot of people don't really actually block low. They just, they just kind of fuzzy, fuzzy guards. Awesome. I'm going to send you the room details soon. How, how do you like playing um, Ultimate Showdown in Alpha? Uh, crazy. a really good answer.
Does it feel exactly like Final Showdown to you? So you need to press X if you're ready, I guess they're not.
Yep. Round two, 
Round four. Ready? Nice, nice low throw. Forgot to train, eh? Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. Do you mean it just died now, or do you mean it died during the gathering, during the get-together? Okay. Oh, you are, okay, on your way home. Gotcha. Welcome back. Welcome back, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on the part? games. Thanks a lot, Sorensen. Forgot to train, eh? I guess him. Good games. Thank you very much, Sorensen. We'll keep fighting. Flows uh, improved a lot. Go! Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Good game. 
Good game, good mix up. He chose the exact right moment to go for the throw. That was good. Round one. Ready? Good games. Good games. Wrestling, the ultimate sport. Oh.
Okay. No problem. Take your time. Thank you for the games. Alright. Let's see if there are other sessions. Yeah. Anyways, let's see while we're doing that. Oh, Shag's in here. Okay, cool. Dude, Nelly, do you want to play? Nelly, are you up? I'm dying for Vanessa training. Would you like to play Nelly? <laughs> like to play I'm open for that but right now I am checking to see if there's other rooms yeah, yeah. that I uh, wanna play but uh let me try this. 
I will send you a message back, JSM. Thank you for the games very much. I really appreciate it. So if anybody would like to play, just let me know. You can type it in the chat. I am happy to play anybody right now. Um, any level, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to work on. Um, people better than me, people worse than me, um, people that are developing, I'm happy to help. Uh, so just ask, let me know what you are, um, what you'd like to do, and we'll do that. So let's see. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I understand that, man. It's good to see you in the toy house, too. Uh, well, thanks for chilling in my room. I appreciate it. Do we crash rooms? Could be mean to crash rooms. Look at unless the rank was high enough, you know. One battle room, it's not interesting. I, I heard that's a thing now, so. Alright, well, in the absence of that, I'll go ahead and start ranked and we'll see how that goes. But I'm always happy to play whatever we want to do. So, let's try some ranked. Um, if not, um, it's a thrill fighting Vanessa defensive stance. It's just freaking hard to hit. But I also have to work on making sure that I'm doing my game and recently when I tried fighting uh, Vanessa I wasn't playing my game because I was just trying to hit but and that's fine for training but it's tough otherwise. Okay, it's rank battle as usual. Um, okay, rank is pretty decent. Um, they actually changed their title. They've got 279 matches, nothing to sneeze at, so I have to take this one very seriously and let's see how they play. Round one. Ready, go! Okay, a little lag. It's not too bad. Very playable. Playing basics and convert Okay, not defending as much, so. So, this person doesn't defend as much. Of course, with lag, that makes it harder to determine, too. But. But they are using patterns of like Okay, that's now they're now they're defending, so that's good. And that's my own little trap just because this kick is very fast. So that said, in that last round they showed a lot more of what they can do. And so um Thank you very much, this is Dragon. <laughs> so they're they're showing more of what they can do in that last round, so I'm gonna take them very seriously because they showed they can defend and they have a flow. It's just maybe lag, maybe they were defaulting to their all attack game until somebody actually stopped them. Okay. They're back to attacking on. So let's see. The 
right now they're kind of defending, but... Okay, and then they were trying to rely on um, stance. You guys enjoy the rain, huh? So the problem is they're using stances that are like gonna lock them sometimes. And the reason 1k worked there is just because I created spacing first. But, uh, but there are attacks that would totally would have killed me for trying to use one game in that situation. I thought I'm better. Another ranked opponent, let's see who we got. Alright, Sarah, 176 matches, 9th Dan, and Oldie, so somebody who has played BF before, if we're gonna cast that title. Alright?
Okay, so what I saw from the Sarah is they're yeah, just getting back into it. Um, they've got a decent flow. Um, I just kind of attacked the assumed that they were probably going to attack at this off the bat. And that's just an assumption. But usually it probably highs that would be low. Okay, it's weak. k is when you think somebody's probably going to start an attack. Um, and I'm just kind of doing certain patterns that I know are pretty effective. Said, um, things that give you an idea of where they're at is they they didn't have much movement. Um, they weren't really dashing as much, as far as I can tell. And uh, yeah, they're using the attacks that you kind of need when you're running. Yeah. But uh, but they move the They use the right of them. What is it at? It's minus 15? Okay, I'll work on that. Hey Nova, are you up for playing? I am happy to play with anybody that wants to play. No. Otherwise I'm kind of just doing things. Hey JSM, thank you so much. Man, you've got a very nice wolf. You just uh, needed... I think the only thing I sensed was just maybe that... Uh, you just didn't have much Leon experience, but you have a very nice wolf. And that was awesome, match. I want to fight some more. And I hope we can fight some more soon. I can use more wolf experience, too. That's a good plan. You know what? Sleeping for 20s gives you an edge over so many people. <laughs> a lot of people don't do it, and it's the, bit, the number one thing they should absolutely do. No problem, dude. DSM, you do not look rusty, but I'll take it. But you're, um, man, you've got a very. Keep it up. Like, we're gonna fight more. There's like some epic, there's some really good stuff that you can. Okay. Let's try to get comfortable with knowing his moves. Okay. Um. I can show you some stuff tonight, right now. Um, let's do that. Okay, so, Spider, if you're listening, go ahead and ask any questions you want. I'm going to help you out. Um, so. Yeah, um, the hit flashes, oh my gosh. Um, so, GSM, I'm with you. Those hit flashes drive me up the freaking wall. Um, because they changed the color of, you know, counter hit was yellow in Final Showdown, and now it's counter hit's red while normal hit is yellow. So sometimes I see that yellow and I'm like, ooh, I got a counter hit, I get to, I get a combo. It sucks. <laughs> when that happens, you know. So. Well, we make it against Sarah. Yeah, we can, we can fight too. 
Uh, no problem. So taking notes? Yeah, I'll give you some notes. I'll give you some notes. I don't mind giving away Leon stuff, so... Spider, um, how much Rich Fighter have you been playing? Um, I mean, what what should I know? You're you're pretty good with your jabs, your low jabs, and your elbows. Um, so the basics with Leon, Leon is good at at a beginner level. He's strong because low attacks like hit a lot of people, right? And also, if your opponent is like. If your opponent is, I screwed that up. If your opponent is mashing low punch, right, then all you gotta do is that, right. And if they don't know how to tech, you can do that too. So, but you can also do that, and that works, right? So, and this works because even if they tech, even if I get the AI to tech. really get the AI to actually do it. So. Okay, I guess they can't. So That's only at the beginner level. Anyways, the point I was gonna make a different point, but yeah. So at the beginner level, you, actually in general, you should just do a single and only confirm if you counter hit. So the skill, this is gonna sound crazy and you don't have to think like this is what you have to do now. But when you're doing this, when you're doing Leon's elbow, you need to watch your opponent before the elbow hits. And you wanna get good at seeing if there's gonna be a counter hit. And so, um, the hard part is the AI is not doing much. It's not giving me much visual information, right? But if I see the opponent crouching during that elbow, I should do the, then I can do the follow-up. But in basic VFs, are you good at the jab flow, like jab in the throw, jab into uppercut, jab in the elbow? Um, yep. See, so I saw that there was going to be a counter hit. So then I confirmed it, and the, the problem is, is you can't confirm it after the fact. You gotta, you gotta kind of estimate it before. And you see that in this case, it doesn't work on recovery hit. It only works on counter hit and crouch. See, and that was not a good confirm. Also, not a good confirm, right? And it's punishable. So sometimes it's just better to learn how to just do the elbow first without confirming. But in the beginner level, you can do that, and then you can just kind of mess with them. But let's do VF basics. So your basics, low jab, if you hit, you can do an uppercut, but they can evade it, and that's the danger with it. But if but if you get a read on them evading, you can throw them. Because throw beats sidestep in this game. So and, th and this is basic for anybody stuff, right? So that's low punch in the throw. And then With Leon low punch in the uppercut, that's going to get you against beginners because they're going to be mashing, right? And, they, and so if you counter hit, you'll do well. Mashing back steps is good. Um, good moves. If you're like plus six, 8k is so good.
What I'm doing, that sequence I just did now, is a big side turn. So half circle forward punch is a slow swipe. If I get that, um, if I get it, they're side turn. And if they're side turn, basic setup is to do a side kick. And if they don't evade the correct way to get hit, you get like a free like PKP, like that. That's a combo. That is a side turn combo. That's 4, 3, P. See? Combo. But the basics of beginner rank is that. Low punch into uppercut, or low punch into throw. That's your mix-up. After you hit. Uh, I think maybe from the second or so, but it's really good like that. And it's really good when you're plus six, so. Do you know how to escape side throws, Iron Spider? Alright, have a good night, Noah. Thanks and good luck tomorrow. Uh, you're gonna be awesome. I can show you the general wall combo here. It's, it's a very simple template that I use. I use a very simple one. Um, yeah, especially fours. They're, they're still good. Yeah, so basics. If you block a low punch, just do an elbow. Very simple, right? And then once they actually start block, once they actually start blocking, then you can throw them. But don't do it until you've seen them actually do it. That's core basic VF. Core basic VF is you do like a low jab or high jab into a throw or uppercut. See how much I'm getting off of a low punch? And that's because in DF, your first character that you learn in Virtua Fighter is P. P stands for punches, which is high jab and low punch, low jab, and then stands for um, elbows, and it stands for throw, and then we use the term escape, but it just means any defensive technique. So it could mean blocking, it means sidestepping, it means using advanced movement. Um, and technically, you can also attack when somebody is, when you know they're going to throw, because attacks always beat throw in Virtua Fighter. So you, you want to learn that. You'll be like rank 30 very easily if you just follow the basic rules of BF. Yeah. So the Yomi is based off of, four, you force a 50-50 mix-up. And you do that by being in a frame advantage of of greater than 5. And the reason is, is when you're at minus 5, you actually have a very good fuzzy guard. Which is, if I'm at minus 5, which is when my elbow's blocked, I can, I can crouch dash and then block. And what that does, and then neutral block, what that does, like this, is that it will beat any immediate mid or throw. And, and so, but, but at minus 6, I can't do that. So see how I just beat the throw there? Just by ducking under it, that's because that's the fuzzy guard. And that's why in VF we stress this minus five number and plus five number because that, because small advantage is anything up to plus five. Small disadvantage is anything as low as minus five, and it means we can fuzzy those situations. They're not true mix us because we have we have really strong universal options for immediate answers. Right? But then once we go to throws in this game are 10 frames. And so if the opponent is at minus 10 or greater, we can throw. 
and it would connect, they they have to do a throw skip. It's the only option to beat the throw is the throw skip. Um, another difference from Tekken is in this game, um, think of throw escapes as layered armor, as some extra defense that you're doing while you're guarding. That's specific to Final Showdown. In older Virtua Fighter games, you had to press the throw command at the same time, they, like within a small window of time when their throw connects with you to escape. In this game, I'm holding, I press guard, it's like I press guard, then I hold P. And right now, this would, anytime they want to do a neutral throw, I would break it. Just by doing this, right? And, or I can be pressing guard, hold, punch, and forward. Let me sh display my inputs. What is that? No, let's do this one. Okay, so I press guard, then I press punch, and I'm holding both of them. Okay. And so if I hold neutral C, I broke her neutral throw, because I was just holding it. It's layered armor, and you only want to do these throw escapes for as long as you're stuck in recovery, or as long as you would normally guard. You don't want to be turtling just because you're doing throw escapes, right? Um, but right now I'm guarding and I'm doing throw escape. It is, it is an option select right off the bat that you can do at any time. So in this game, instead of thinking like, oh, I see a throw and I'm gonna beat it, like in Tekken, you're you're just like you're just covering your bases. You're you're preventing them from doing certain throws. You're cutting it off from their, from their move list. And then just get good at knowing like what to do after the throw. After you do a throw escape, after someone throw escapes you, try not to be surprised by it. Um, because those situations are usually like a minus five or minus six, and all you do is you just kind of poke back at them. Like, a lot of people just aren't prepared, and so you just kind of, you know, low punch back at them, you know. Um, so yeah, basics will be on the uppercut. The 8K is good, you can do it also, like, um, like after you block something decent, just as kind of your mid cover option. Not a good example of, of maximizing punish, but with Leon, Leon actually doesn't care. I mean, Leon's punish game is like probably his F score, right? He's not good at it. So yeah, right now this is just guard throw escape. So this technique's guard throw escape. The fuzzy guard is after they block my elbow, I do a crouch dash, which is this, like three two three or three five three. And then, I, and then I do 5 guard. That's the fuzzy guard. Like that. When you see... There, there is a weakness to fuzzy guard. So fuzzy guard is just meant... The way that fuzzy guard works is I'm going to duck the throw, which they takes them 10 frames to throw. And a crouch dash is 5 frames. It takes me 5 frames. I'll be crouch 5 frames. And then I stand up and I'll be guarding high after that. And because all attacks are slower than that 10 frame throw, then I just have to stand and guard to block that, right? So, prevent that. And because you're a Tekken player, the cool thing about Fuzzy Guard, if you get them to throw with, you could actually like PK right away. Like that. Uh, if you see the throw with, you could just do that. You know. Leon, actually the best one is this. That's the best one for Leon. Yeah, so if I'm doing guard throws, get press guard, then press punch, and hold it. Yep, just like the way blades are there, that's a good way to do it. Fuzzy guard into a guard thrust. Man, I botched it up. Also, um, it sounds like you kind of know the VF flow, but Virtua Fighter flows like move by move. And the reason strings are not as good is simply because two punch is good. So like, because I can stop a lot of strings just by targeting the highs with the low punch. 
And so that's why you don't see string as like emphasized in Virtua Fighter. I mean, it is good, but you have to use them very wisely. But a lot of them will just get like, will just lose to that. See? So anytime I target a high, so the, the weak spots are the highs. And then after that, it's straight damage, right? So look at how much I'm scoring off of low jab. Yeah, it's like almost uh, almost all like strings in this game will have like a high on like the second or third hit. Yeah, universal low party doesn't exist. Characters that have a right, that makes sense. Uh, it is, it is. Plus, okay, so here's the cool thing. Char fast characters, usually, to compensate for some of the weaknesses they have, are um, have like a 13 frame Punisher. Now. Um, but John also does too, right? So, 13 frame Punishers are wonderful to even have, but you know, but you kind of wish you had like a 16 frame normal hit. You know, everybody wishes they had that in this game. So like, when you see me evade, I can also do the throw escape guard while I'm doing that, right? And that's not going to mess anything up. I can also cancel evades with a dash, so I can do like, evade, forward dash, and then do a throw escape. So you have those options. Because, especially because like, because, um, because throw flat out beats side sidestep, that it, it, it is good to have the throw escape in put it while you're evading. Another good thing, okay, PK is is like a general punish at like at uh, minus eleven or more. And because of that, you're you're left at plus three, which means you can elbow anybody. Like they, have, like elbow is a good option. Right? And then if they start defending, throw. So you do this, and then you do elbow. Right? And you got a guard cancel because Leon has this. And this thing is good, but you don't want them to duck and punish that. So you do not want them to duck and punish the PKP. It's very dangerous at, when you fight better players. The reason it crushes beginners though is it's, it's, this third punch is EX high. That means it will be a lower. T like if they try to low punch you, you'll kill. You'll hit them. You can like you'll hit them with that high. Yep. So I had the throw escape there, but I just guessed the wrong way. Have any questions, Spider? Um, I kind of just gave you kind of a primer. Uh, the way I play him, he is. <laughs> um, he is. Um, Leon's weak at guaranteed punishment from block, but he's got a good side turn game. Later on, but first learn the core poke and throw and you know, elbow. Like, like, get good at that first. The uppercut will do good damage against uh, against Sarah. It does, um, especially like lightweight characters. It does a lot of damage.
you can still okay so the hard part with turtling in this game let me turn off the ai and let me show you something about this game okay so this is what i show all tekken players when they first when i train them vf1 on, in person okay tekken you have you have guard built into your back dash this is what happens if i back dash and hit guard it takes i don't start guarding till the very end crouch back dash is six frames I don't get to block until 6 frames, okay? This is 7 frames, before I can block on back dash, 7 frames. Forward dash, I can do it almost instantly. And then crouch dash, 5 frames. So 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, instant. Um, and so, in... And so it's uh, tech. Virtual Fighter is very forward biased. So you want to be. This game really encourages you to be forward. When you're back dashing, also, if you get hit while you're back dashing, there are some rules. But gen the gist of it is, is that you'll be counter hit. And if it's if you're hit by a side kick, you'll be stung. You'll be staggered. So. Back dash. Okay. Watch what happens to Sarah as she back dashes. That right. Really sucks. Yeah, throws are so strong in Virtua Fighter. Um, I have no idea. They're so, but but they're not good against mashers. So don't throw mashers. <laughs> you know, somebody mashing attack, attack always beats throw. Don't don't throw the mashers. I see. That's a good point. So, so Virtua Fighter is very forward biased. Uh, you can Korean, you can do back dash evade, and then you can evade back evade into back dash. This is what we call a failed evade, you, and so this is like it's a weak side step. You'll get hit. Doesn't really get you much except that you can cancel it. All right. So you can cancel with guard. You can cancel it with crouch dash. Cancel with forward dash, cancel with back dash. Then you have, um, but then you have the normal evades, uh, which the thing about normal evades, the successful evades, you want to, um, they happen when the opponent's in the middle of execution. Because of that, usually you're buffering them when you're at a disadvantage. And so it's not something where you're trying to react to every, I mean, later when you get really good, you can react evade. But you really are doing it because it's a defensive option. It's what you would do when you're guarding. Whenever you fail something, you fail to attack, you can do an evade there. You can, and you'll sidestep unless, unless they have guarantee. However, again, throw will flat out beat um, evading, sidestepping. Um, so... Uh, any other questions? Yeah, we can play. I, I would love to play, Mick. That would be great. Let's play. Okay. Anybody else want to play? Anybody else want to join? Iron, you're welcome to join us if you like. Um, you know, no add me on other socials and we can chat. If you have any questions, I'm really happy to, to help. Alright, Mac, we'll create a room. Kumite. Do two. We'll do, we'll do twos just in case somebody comes in. Or can we turn off stickers here? No, that's impersonal. Okay. Um, we'll set to three. Okay. But passcode, simple. We'll just do one, 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 one. Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, fighting against Mech, Mech uses Vanessa, and Vanessa will steal turns sometimes because if she's in defensive stance, or even offensive stance because she's got a very fast uppercut that's faster than a high jab. 
And then she also has Sabaki attacks. Sabaki attacks have built-in override properties. They override very specific uh, types of attacks. And those, it's a combination of whether it's one limb, two limb, a fist or an elbow, or a foot or a knee. Um, Two-handed, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, in this game they're good just because they're kind of cheap. Uh, Mick, if you're having trouble finding the room, it's in Kumite, and if you can't find it, oh, one, 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 one. Yeah, one, 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 one. Okay, so yeah, Sabaki attacks are good here, but they're but they're very targeted. It's a very narrow option, and I just showed you how how strong basic options are in this game. They're very strong. So, like, like all Vanessa's, Mech has a unique flow, so the flow in this match will probably look a little different. But it's still flow, it's still VF. That makes sense, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, let me see what. That Sabaki's always gonna mess me up. It's Sabaki's so many attacks. And so the cool thing is that last hit was a special high. Leon has a unique thing. He has like the one thing that beats special high, which is 2k. I mean, the one low attack that just ignores special high.
she does have a she does have that stance, and she's got to be careful against Leon with it, but. is 1p ever since we have 4 it drives me insane. So, <laughs> um, drives me insane this game. Yeah. So on Wake Up, um, yeah, she's got that stance. Um, it does mess a lot of people up. I don't have much advice on it right now. Leon is very strong at the wall. He's also very again side turn, so after an evade. He's good at whiff punishing, he said. Uh not really, but he's got different whiff punishing. He's he's evasive, so he's got moves that slide under. We've already talked about lows, which in this game it's rare to have like a low mid low as many lows as he's got that are decent. So he's got like the best low repertoire in the game, arguably. Um, and that allows him to do like low mid mix-ups where people do not as much of that in this game. He can ring people out because of his ring positioning, because he's got a lot of carry. So on Trader Hook Punish, I will work on that. So that's a sidestep punch, right? That's minus 13, so I gotta KK that. You saw how I used back dash there. Oh, 
But backdash is dangerous, but it's, it's... Thanks for the tip, Jack. Forgot to train, eh? I'll do that. It's a very good tip. Leon is very strong at ring up though, so it's, it's not a problem. He's good at all the stages. That was okay, that's it. Yeah, Spider, you'll get used to the, um, you'll get used to the, the ring out stages, and I definitely recommend get, like, embracing that ring out's a thing. Don't think of an honor system, because that's just gonna get you emotional about, <laughs> about it, and you don't need that. Just be calm and win ring out by ring out. Fight well when your back's against the edge, you'll be fine. Knockout! 
<laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, Spider. Hey, um, I'm looking forward to seeing how you, you know, like uh, how VF goes with you, and I'm always happy to play. Thanks for the tips, Drog. They're helping me so much. And I'm glad I've got uh, Mech as a friend who plays a defensive sense of uh, Vanessa. I kind of wonder that too. <laughs> it's like, what to do after 1p? <laughs> it's kind of true. It's a good point. practice these exchanges. <laughs> what a okay, um, so I prefer to do 3 2 3 6 people okay. So 3 2 3 because I use an arcade stick and you only you barely move the stick to do 3 2 3. It's uh and so it's very easy to roll that. So But it's good to learn stuff like three five three for like this and being able to do that from a crop stash. And so you can, and if you can hit throw that, then you get good damage with the gun. But generally, three to three is really good for a lot of what Leon likes to do. So I can duck under high and do that. Okay, what is that shoulder I need to learn? Is it just Itaku? I 
Merci. <laughs> it does look that way, like I, I was convinced it was. So it's actually just minus two. Okay, um, well, against Vanessa, that means that I, ca I can do an elbow. appreciate this, this training inspiring mech. Jeez. Yeah, shoulders are cool though because they just they have slippery properties similar to the other uppercut. Oh, 
I love the invisible wall. Imagine it does. I think all shoulders kind of do, right? But, uh, yeah, hard to find the use. That is the weird thing about defensive stance, Vanessa, right? Is it, it's kind of hard. Some things are weird to convert, but she has some good things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of true. Uh, that's an interesting point. Is that beat up? Hmm, I wonder. Good to know. That's that weird uh, big kick comes across high and then punch. Alright, so, okay.
Huh. That's an interesting. Hmm. Strong. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Forgot to train, eh? Oh no, just referring to Can I not confirm? I cannot confirm. Okay. <laughs> so, it's, uh, Vanessa, I'll say it's a scary one sometimes. Good, good thing for me to know. <laughs> Oh, 
That works. <laughs> I like that four six KP. <laughs> So cool. Okay, so PKP not guaranteed there. Okay, I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering if I got a free jab. I do not. At least at that at disadvantage, I guess. <laughs> So, yeah, by Leon's 2k because it ignores special hot. I think you do know that one though, right? I think I said it in front of you a lot, right? Um, Leon's 2k 
ignore special high. Only low that does that, as far as I know. Maybe Shun's 2k. But Leon's 2k is the only one that ignores special high that I know of. And you can test it out, you're just like, what the hell is this? And it's been that way since VF4 when EX high was introduced. But that was a good way to deal with it. Thanks. I, I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. The power of one P. Hey Kish, how you doing today? Doing good, just kind of like uh, training with Mech on the Vanessa.
<laughs> that was so cool. That was awesome. There's a Baki. Uh, <laughs> sweet. See, I thought I'm better. Oh, um, thanks a lot for the game, Smack. Really appreciate that. Um, man, would anyone else like to play? Uh, I'm up for anything. Point that I've been having a good time with everyone. This is a wonderful room. Yeah, I do like the flip kick. <laughs> uh, I, I always like fighting you. Um, yeah. Oh man, I got nice people here. Rayblade, do you want to try playing? <laughs> Yeah, with, if Leon has, well, they, they're evade punishable, but yeah, nothing punishable on block. Little throws really can really do a number on me, especially because I fuzzy a little predictably. So yeah, I'd really do it. Yeah, that's
Alright, let's see who we're gonna fight right now. Vanessa Deadshot 321. Okay, level 24, and I think this is Garfat. Alright, let's see how they play. Might be a very laggy Vanessa. I tend to do bad at them. Feel free to give me tips if that's what I run into. Now I feel the lag, okay. Does the lag switch hit? We will see. Thanks. Yeah, um, it's it's a fun built-in part of Leon because Leon likes to, I believe, Leon likes to do a lot of things from crouch dash, and so you kind of have the built-in delay when you do throws and side turn if you use that if you approach it that way, and you do your mix ups through there it makes it a lot harder. But you want to use all your frames sometimes. So. I'm using 1k on the on that ground stance. Forgot the trick. stance. Some cool options I'd like would be um, if it if like uh, when you're doing this training mode, if it like let you play as the character you just played against, and then you can practice stuff right away. There, there is a proper way to play laggy matches though in VF and try to. Oh, dang it! I got the no right away. Uh, what is an LDK? Really? It's two hits. It's just a low kick with two hits. No, it count, I think it counts as one leg. I'm very sure it counts as one leg. Have to test it. All right, we got dead shot again. Okay. I hope my I I want my kung fu to be stronger. Round so, one. Yeah. Ready? Go. Round two. Ready? Yeah. 
Knock out. Round three. Ready? Go. Up here. That would be cool. Um, that would be cool. Man, if you and I fought, I think it'd be really cool to test it out. Um, you'd just try to destroy my Leon. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that would be awesome. Ready? That Vanessa was pretty decent, but, um, yeah, but I was kind of trapping them a bit with uh, Leon's moveset. Shot as Leife. Okay, all right. They may fall for the similar traps as before. We'll see. Um, but I might have trouble because uh, certain Leife things can definitely mess me up. So just a little bit
punch didn't come out, but I would have got killed anyways. for the matches. Nice leafy. What a knucklehead. Okay. Um Oh no, stand with message, okay. Strategist, wow, a thousand matches. I'm gonna get killed, right? Local collage. Round nice to one. meet you. Ready, go. Interesting. Okay. That felt like a reading round. Ready, go. I'm going to get killed. Found it. 
So that was a reading round that first round. Okay. I had that. I thought I had that. That was greedy. I went for a big one. That was fun. Really, really fun. So, local collage. Respect. 1075 matches. Good game.
Let's see if we fight the same John. Cure a queenly rope for. Okay. Win percentage is alright. Where's 27? Same rank. Alright. Round one. Ready? For them, I don't feel much of it, just maybe a time. Ready, go! Okay. All right, let's see if this is Tens.
Thrones. Me to get that shot. Ready? 
Round three. Ready, go! <laughs> Round one. Ready, go! Fun thing about Taka, AI you can't do this, but against humans you can always do half circle back throw and bounce. I'm gonna try something against Deadshot. Let's see how it goes. It was kind of tough before, but I think well, I might be able to do it now. Ready?
Nice. That was a good round. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Fintman, Streak, 25, Gamer, okay, quite a few wins. Ready, go!
Okay, that was good. I'm gonna have to play it this way, so I'll take the loss. Round one. Ready, go! Good. That was good. So cool. That was cool. That was really cool. Round three. Ready, go. My time is here. Knockout. Forgot to train, eh? Going dizzy after that one.
Okay, so I think the same one. Round one. <laughs> okay, thanks. Kind of true, right? Uh, she's actually popular online. I think. I mean, some tonight the players that are playing her are not doing the typical lag stuff, but some people like her online because of certain lag tactics that um, she does. But that's only at a certain rank. I feel so shameful. Okay. But she's actually popular online, and I think, I mean, Again, tonight we're fighting people that know how to play her, but other times it's kind of like there are some dumb tactics that people do when it's laggy. Um, yeah. Round one. Ready, go! games.
Oh, thank you very much. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Leon mirror match. Let's see how this goes. My rank's not bad considering the amount of games played, so cannot take them lightly. Did they quit? Looks like they disconnected. I'm gonna actually go use the restroom and I'll be right back. Back. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they ran out. Yeah. Let's see what match this. You got pretty good match, yeah? No? Okay. Well, decent level. Like my level. Level zero. Yeah. 
Um, well, they were playing Leon. Looks like they had experience from the stats, so um, they might have recognized my handle um, in North American and Western VF. I, I have a known name because I post a lot, and there's not that many, like, um, there's a few strong Leon players, and I'm considered one of them. So that might have been what happened there. So, anyhow, um, after the restroom break, let's see what new titles I got. Hunter, cool. Is that the only one? Okay. Let's see. Alright. So, we're doing okay on that. On ranks. Alright. Let's see how the matchups are going. I improved my Sarah, that was good. Apparently I haven't fought any Aoi in ranked. Let's see, so City I'm not doing so hot on. Broken house, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's try a search. How's everyone doing this morning? I'm pretty sure I cycled a few people in the audience, so hope you're all doing good. If it's daytime in your area, that's great. It is about 4 in the morning where I'm at. Um, I typically am a night owl, so... I like to set it to CPU 5 or random. In the or there's nobody. That's right, it does that sometimes. Hopefully I wasn't like reported, <laughs> you know. So I don't know what I'd be reported for, but people do strange things. Maybe this is the same one, it's a different one. Different one, decent stats. I gotta be careful. Round one. Ready? Go! Round two. Ready? Go! 
right, nice. Nice. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Let's fight. Ready, go! What? No block. Huh, okay. It's not going to be a good day, is it? Sloppy. It must be lag. This guy knows what they're doing, so it's real flat. The train, eh? I couldn't get some of the blocks I wanted in. I don't think, I don't know if it was input drop. It could be that I just hit guard too early because of the input buffer or another oh, media time. That's what it is. Ready? really nicely on Yav. He's got combos, he does a lot of stuff. I pretty much go tactical on that. Oh, I need to reorient my stick because I'm missing stuff. See how this goes. All right, I'm gonna get killed. Call, call, call. This might be the last one for tonight. Yeah. 
we're gonna try really hard to make sure he doesn't get drunk in place. Ready, go! Take him lightly. Round one. Ready, go. Thank you all very much for watching and um, if uh, anything I can do to help, I'm always happy to help and uh, feel free to help me too. Thank you. Let's see. All right. Let's do a raid. Let's raid. All right. to do it on the app. I don't know if it is. I don't know if I can actually read this one. Um, Round one. Ready? Go! Um, uh, thank you very much, Jack. Um, hope I didn't make you stress out too much, but I'll work on those punishes. You know, we need to just go to it, you know, and um, make sure I'm at my work. I should be doing this. 
So the funny thing is, uh, thanks to the raid from Juicebox not long ago, I ended up getting affiliate status. But once I did affiliate status, they really want you to use like two-factor authentication. So some of my devices are set, some are not. Um, so I'm in my rush to kind of say, hey, let's raid somebody. I have to. I can use my app. Watching me figure us uh, twitch out. Yeah, here we go. This is where we do that. Okay. We're gonna send it over to Juice Box because uh, return the favor. So I'm gonna do it correctly. to it. That doesn't work. We're gonna raid, raid blade. Okay, Twitch app's not working. Thank you very much. Raid blade is on right now. Player, he's in. He was originally from Portland, but also originally from Hawaii. Now he's in Hawaii again. So I highly recommend um, checking him out. Also, uh, Juicebox is on and he's been training. So I believe he's been labbing. You know, he trained his brat, but then he also wanted to train for the Kage match. So it's really interesting stuff. He's watching videos and analyzing and doing drills. And I always like watching him do his drills in the lab. So both of those guys, highly recommend. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll probably see you later.